well, that's cool, but what practical applications does it have? Uh, well, one of them actually, you can see in the example here, uh, you can actually keep a backup updated. Uh, this is going to run at 5 a.m. every week on Sunday, or Monday, and it's going to basically do this. It's going to create a, a, a tar archive here. So it's going to store it in var slash backups uh, at home.tgz. And the contents of it is going to be the entire home directory. So it's going to make an entire backup once a week of all your files. So that that's pretty useful. I want to give you guys one more example of how cron tabs can be used. So I'm going to exit out of here. I'm going to hit no. And what I'm going to do now is, so when we just did that, we set up, the reason why it output my home directory for the ls command into this file is because we created that cron tab as our user. And so if we wanted to run uh, a command, uh, you know, in a cron tab that required elevated privileges, in order to do that, we actually type sudo cron tab. Dash e. And this is going to open the cron tab file for the root user. So if we scroll down, uh, perfect. So let's set up a command. So I'm going to run this at uh, 0, 7 a.m. Uh, every day of the month, every month, and on Monday. So Monday morning at 7 a.m. this is going to run. Get upgrade dash y. So the dash y flag in the app get upgrade basically means say yes to everything. So this command is going to keep my system updated every week at 7 a.m. on Monday. So this, this is great for scheduling tasks if you need certain things to run at certain times or so frequently. You can do that using cron tab. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm really excited because uh, in the next module we're going to get to talking about uh, developer things. And so uh, we're going to go over different development environments and uh, technologies and stuff. So that's really exciting. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.